The best thing about being a sommelier is building relationships. We build relationships with suppliers, with winemakers, staff, customers. I'm Dean Norris. I'm the Corporate Beverage Director for the Vintage Group of Restaurants. The question that I get asked most frequently is, how do you become a sommelier? Because no one really knows. But it is a position that comes from years and years of working in the industry and years of educating yourself. So I trained through the International Sommelier Guild and the Court of Master Sommeliers in the United States. I guess it's easy to say it's like getting a bachelor's degree, a master's, and a PhD. It's not an easy feat to even get in anymore. The consumer is, they have a lot of questions. When you approach a table or a customer, you have to be able to read them and anticipate what they want. As corporate beverage director and the chief sommelier for a vintage group, my biggest platforms is to make sure our staff are educated. We don't expect everyone to be committed to become a sommelier. That's years of studying to get to that point. But I do my own personal training with the staff. The first thing I always do in wine training is we do blind tasting. And I do that. There's always three aspects to any kind of wine training. It's academic, service-oriented, and tasting. Tasting wine for most people is a practice skill, but when you sit a new employee down and you give them an experience, they're like, wow, I can learn this. For most people now, pairing the wine with their dinner is a crucial aspect because they realized how it can actually complement the food. Because the bottom line is the rock star in a restaurant is the food and the wine is the supporting actor. We are in the service industry. We are here to serve you. We are here to make sure you have a good experience and that you feel that much enriched and happier when you leave our establishments.